everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a custom Ionic module. So this means um, you've previously installed modules using NPM into your app, but this time we will publish our own NPM package. And therefore we start today with a blank folder and no Ionic project and go ahead by creating a package.json file. And inside that file, uh, we need quite a few things. So uh, you can find all of this in the article uh, link below this video. Um, I named my package Ionic Academy package and this is already published. So I will just make an update once we're done here. So the version gives the version the description, then the main and typings is the in uh, the entry point of your package basically. And we will uh, create these files in a second. Also, our files will be in a dist folder, but the NPM, uh, the run script, will create our dist folder for us. So we basically give this uh, in right here. Also, we got this publish package script, which runs the NPM run in the end and also NPM publish. So uh, for this command to work, you need to have an npm account, but you can go to uh, npmjs.com and easily create an account for free. And perhaps you need to log in on your command line then, but um, then you can publish packages without any problems. So a repository can be specified if you have one, uh, then some more general information and then the dev dependencies for our app. And if we save this, we can now already run npm install, which will create the node uh, modules folder inside our folder. I added those dependencies um, because we will use this in an Ionic app. So we should have access to Ionic in the module and also um, the general Angular stuff, which we need for the module and the components and so on. All right, that's the package JSON. And the second file we need is called tsconfig.json. Where is it there? Um, this file is already included when you start a new Ionic app. It's basically a configuration for TypeScript and how to uh, transpile TypeScript, what to exclude. So this is just general information we need here. Okay, this is the basic setup, a package JSON and the tsconfig. Now the actual custom module begins. So first of all, we create a new folder source and in this folder, all the uh, code will live. Inside, we create two more folders, providers and components. So more or less, why do I don't have an icon here? I don't know. Um, more or less uh, like you know it from Ionic, but of course we don't have the CLI available right here. So let's create a provider which we can use in our app later. Let's call this Academy Provider.ts. And inside, we first of all import the injectable from at Angular Core. Uh, core. And if the imports work, uh, we also don't get any red lines anymore. So just like you know it from an injectable, we create this one export class academy provider. And this provider will uh, have one function reason to join. And this will basically return a string. So the Ionic Academy uh, makes cross platform great again, whatever. Um, we just want this one provider. Of course, you can have a lot more in here. I just want to demonstrate how you can create this provider and use it later on. So for now, we will leave the provider as it is and create a new component. And let's call this Academy Component.ts. And let me bring in a bit because uh, it's not worth to type all this now. The problem with the uh, components is that they currently can't have an external HTML file. So therefore we have this inline HTML, which consists of a few ion header navbar stuff, ion content and a button, which also has one action to leave the page. 
and the same counts for CSS. We also need those inline styles, but then we can go ahead and create our component just like we're used to it and then specify the information. So normally this is already done by Ionic, but we can do this on our own as well. We can specify a template, which is our HTML template, and we can define styles, which is an array of styles. And in this case, we just have the one. All right, finally export class academy component. And now the logic for the class. So let's have a constructor with a private enough controller from Ionic and open close and then one function which we are using in the page called leaf page and we call enough controller pop so uh, simply to leave our page again and that's already enough now we can present this page from uh, our ionic app wherever we include this package okay that's for the general code and now we have to make sure to export all of this. And first of all, we create a new file called index.ts. You know, we use this one inside our package JSON. And here we need to export everything. And we need one more file as well, which is then our module. So let's call this ionicacademy.module.ts because we need to export this one as well. So Ionic Academy module um, export from components slash, oh, come on, Academy, oh, please autocomplete, come on. What's wrong? Academy component. And finally export everything from provider slash Academy provider. Okay, that's our export file. It is fine, this will be green once we finished our Ionic Academy module. So let's finish this by writing the module. And I will bring in the imports. So we need ng module from Angular Core, we need our component and provider. And we also need the Ionic module because we've used um, right here those elements from Ionic. And if we don't import the ionic module you will get an error that the selector is undefined so um, let's create our ng module it looks um, like you're used to it from the ionic app module with imports declarations and exports so standard ionic uh, not ionic angular stuff of course so for the imports, as I've said, we need the Ionic module, otherwise our selectors won't work. For the declarations, we need to declare our Academy component, and we also need to export the uh, Academy component. And finally, for the export class, we write Ionic Academy module. So here we export the actual module. And we create this static for root function. I think you've seen this one before when you use the Ionic storage, for example. And here we use module with providers, a wrapped around module that also includes, includes the providers. Um, so this is the return type. And then we return our new ng module, which is basically uh, the module above. So this one looks a bit strange in here, but it's correct. And for the providers of this uh, module with providers, you can have an array of the providers and we only got the Academy provider we've provided up here. Okay, um, basically that's how you create a custom module. Uh, you need to set up your package JSON to point to the right files and typings and stuff like this. Then you create your components currently with inline stuff and providers just like you're used to it. We could also have HTTP requests in here. Um, then you export everything and create the module with all the information of your components and providers. And once you're done, you can run. Let me tr just give a look. Okay. npm run publish package. 
So if you call npm run, it will always look for something in the script. And we got publish package here, which will then run npm run build and publish. And you can see I get this message. So not a lot of code here, but we see the dist folder and we see this message. So hopefully um, my package was deployed. Let's take a look at npm JS. Yes, I can see I already got an email and this one was 002 and let's refresh this. Now it is 003. I also added the GitHub repository, uh, which I somehow messed up the link. <laughs> so I need to fix this as well. And I haven't created a readme, which is also kind of wrong. I think I have a readme file. Um, but okay, it's in a different folder, I guess. Anyway, our package is ready and we can now install it. And uh, let me bring in this second app here. So I've already uh, installed, nope, nope. I've already installed uh, the package in a new app, but previously I had used the 002 version. So let's install the latest version, npm install, uh, the name of the package and then um, not updated okay perhaps it works like this it should work at least um, okay should be fine now and if you go to your node modules somewhere um, whatever the name of your package was ionic academy package and there you will see all the information about the package you've just created with the imports and stuff like this. And now the interesting part, how to include this, you basically go to your app module and from here you can import the module, you can import the provider and the component. The module goes straight to the imports where the other modules are and the component goes to the entry components because we don't have any lazy loading created in here so we need to list those in entry components and the providers just like we're used to it inside providers and if we now want to use the package in a simple ionic page we can import both provider and list it in our constructor like we're used to and we can directly use the component to push it uh, right here and here we retrieve some information from the provider and here we can see um, uh, the HTML for this view basically shows the information and a button to trigger the action. And the information is displayed, make cross plot from great again. And if we hit show component, the whole page is now covered by our custom component. Welcome to the special Ionic Academy module. And if we close this page, we even use the same NAV controller from there to go back to our app and our um, custom Ionic module is now completely included and working. And now you can go ahead, you can um, always change your package again, you can update it, you can add the GitHub uh, page, the README and simply invite other people to collaborate on your Ionic package, which is now a custom module. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you also check out the ionicacademy.com for more Ionic videos, courses and awesome community to help you learn Ionic fast. I'll see you inside the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more Ionic videos and have a great day. Bye.